Okay. Uh, let's ask about C. Write all the relations. C to A, C to B, C to D, C to E. Does C entail A? Clearly not. C is true here, and A is false there. So, no. Does C entail B? No, there's going to be three counterexamples. Right there, there, and there. Does C entail D? Obviously not, because Every time C is true, D is false. All you've got is counterexamples. Does C entail E? No, it does not, because once again we have a counterexample on the second row. C is true and E is false. Therefore, the answer is no. Of course, C is a tautology. What do tautologies entail? They only entail other tautologies. All right, let's get rid of some of this junk here. And now, We'll ask about D. This is so exciting. Uh, D to A, D to B, D to C. I don't even have to do this for D, right? Because you already know the answers. What is D? D is a contradiction. Contradictions entail everything. And notice if you look at it uh, in terms of the T to F, it makes perfectly good sense, right? Is there a row where D is true and A is false? Well, of course not, because D is never true. Therefore, does D entail A? Yes, it does. Because it's only when you find the T to F that you have the no answer. That's what is T to F? T to F is a counterexample. I should write that. Counter really one word. Counterexample. All right. Does D entail B? Yes. Does D entail C? Yes. Does D entail E? Yes. All right. Last example. Let's check E to A, E to B, E to C, E to D. Looking for a T to F. Does E entail A? No, it does not. We have a counterexample on the first row, as well as the third row. Does D entail B? No, it does not. The third and fourth row are counterexamples. Does D does E entail C? Yes, it does. Everything entails tautologies. Does E entail D? No, it does not. We have three counterexamples from E to D. Make sense? I hope you're looking at this and saying, okay, this is, I hope you're bored by this. In fact, I hope you've already turned off this movie and said, why doesn't he just shut up about all this entailment stuff? Uh, last thing that we can ask about on the table is about consistency. We can ask, is this set of formulas logically consistent? To be consistent means that they can all be true at the same time. And so what we're doing is checking rows all the way across. Do we have a row that comes out T's all the way across? If we do, then they're consistent. If we don't, then they're not consistent. And the answer is no, these are not consistent because we do not have a row of T's all the way across. If I ignore E, is the set that's just A, B, C, and D, is this set consistent? No, it's not consistent either because we do not find T's all the way across. What if I get, what if we just focus on A, B, and C? Is this set consistent? In fact, it's still not consistent because we still don't have T's all the way across. Um, if I was to change, let's say I get rid of this F right here. Oh, there I go. I just turned it into a T. That was easy. Um, now, I would say that A, B, C is consistent. That's not what I meant to do. Now I would say that ABC is consistent because it's true all the way across. That's all that consistency is about. Let's can I make any bigger mess on this screen just like that? Oh yes, isn't that that's wow, what an awful mess. Okay. I guess I've had my fun. Um that's it for truth tables.